Algebra find unknown factors. You might see problems like this. 5 times c equals 20. And honestly, some problems that are word problems are worded where you want to set them up like this. 5 times c equals 20. What is c? c can be anything. It can be a, it's a number, it's a symbol. It's going to be something in your problem that you don't know. It's your unknown. How do I figure out what c equals? That's the question. What is c? All right. This is, think of it as like an array or a picture. You have 20, and 5 times something equals 20. So I know I have 5 groups. 5 of something equals 20. So if I just go and put 1 in each group until I get to 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now I have 20 of something. They're into five groups. How many are in each one of these groups? Five times what? One, two, three, four. So C is going to equal four because five times four equals 20. We basically reversed this. We basically did 20 divided by 5 equals c. And when we solve 20 divided by 5 right here, we came up with just c. If you just switch the multiplication into division, you can figure out the unknown. Let's try another one. Similar example, I rearranged the order. Pause the video, see if you can figure this out. 36 equals 4 times z. What? does z equal? Pause the video, see if you can figure it out. Now, you have 36 and you have 4. So you know that it's 4 times something. So I make 4 circles and I split the 36 up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. All right, let's count them up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 in each box, or in each circle. 36 equals 4 times z. Well, z equals 9. Basically, what I just did was I flipped it. I did 36. Instead of being a multiplication, I did division. Divided by the number I know, 4, is going to equal z. So when I divided four, 36 into 4 groups, there was 9 in each group. So I came up with the z equals 9. This is where you might get a little more confused because now I have division to start with and I have a triangle. Like I said, it might be a letter, it could be a symbol, a star, triangle, square. Whatever your unknown is, it'll be represented in totally different ways in every problem you see it. In this case, we're using the triangle. It doesn't matter, it's basically just something we don't know. What is triangle equal is what we're trying to figure out. 48 divided by triangle equals 6. Okay, so I know that I'm going to have 6 in a group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's how many are in a group. Well, let's just keep going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I keep doing this until I get up to 48. Let's see how many I have so far. 6, 12, 18, 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Now I'm at 48 with each one of them having 6. The question is how many groups do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So triangle is going to equal 8. This one you would flip in a different way. You can't do 6 times 48 for this one because you already have your product. 
It's, it would be 6 times triangle. But really, I can just, in division, if you know the fact family, you know that 6 times triangle is going to equal 48. And 48 divided by triangle equals 6, but also 48 divided by 6 is going to equal triangle. So knowing your fact families and how those relate is going to help you realize, well then, I can just do 48, put 6 in a group, and count my groups, and that will give me my triangle. I can represent multiplication and division problems using drawings and equations with unknowns in all positions. So here are your two problems that I want you to do on your own. 12 equals 3 times p. p is our unknown. Square divided by 8 equals 7. 